Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll explain how to connect two motors and two controllers together. Let's start with the throttle wiring. Connect the throttle wires of the two controllers. Then connect the throttle wires of one of the controller to the throttle wires of the combination switch. For the three speed wires, we only need to connect the high speed and low speed wires between the two controllers. Because the black wire is a common negative wire, we only need to keep the common negative wire of one controller and then connect that controller's three speed wires to the combination switch. Now connect the three speed wires of one of the controllers to the three speed wires of the combination switch. Connect two controllers' ignition wires together. Then connect one controller's ignition wire to the battery positive. I use high brake, so here I connect two controllers' high brake wires together. Connect the reverse wires of the two controllers together. Then connect the reverse wire and the common negative wire of one controller to the combination switches reverse wire and negative wire. Connect the cruise wires of the two controllers together. Then connect the controller cruise wire to the combination switches cruise wire. Here I used repair wire instead. For the display, we only need to connect one controller speed signal wire with display speed signal wire. Now the wiring is completed. Then we need to do the auto one on both motors separately. And after auto one, there is a very important parameter that needs to be modified. Rated speed of two motors. Because even if two motors have exactly the same specifications, there will still be errors in speed. For example, this is my border speed, with the tolerance of plus or minus 30 revolutions per minute. So the minimum speed is 470 revolutions per minute. And we need to set the rated speed on the controller app slightly lower than the minimum speed. This is to ensure that the speed of the two motors are the same. So I set both motors rated speed to 460 revolutions per minute. And after auto learn, if the motor rotates in the opposite direction, you can modify the parameter, motor direction. Okay, in addition to this, we must also ensure the other parameters and the function settings of the two controllers are exactly the same. Okay, now let's test it 